So the patient, I'm going to show you the uh, progress of her treatment so far, um, is a lady who had a uh, shoulder dislocation, which then led to subsequent damage of the radial nerve. So this meant in everyday terms that she is, wasn't able to extend the wrist, fingers and, and thumb actively, which led to her having lots of problems with gripping and doing uh, daily activities. To begin with, the focus was using splints to compensate for that loss of movement, uh, regular assessments, and then as we noticed that she was starting to recover a bit of active movement, that was the ideal time to start the treatment on the BT Primus because we were able to see exactly how much muscle power she recovered at, at that point compare it to a full power on the uh, uninjured side. So we started here on a series of exercises. Looking at this one, for example, was the wrist flexion extension exercise. Um, you can see the progress that's been made there in, in the terms of work and power um, that she's achieved. And that's within a month. So that's quite a significant increase in, in those factors. And the fact that she could see each week she's made improvement has really motivated her to continue attending her treatment sessions and just setting herself goals to, to achieve for, for each session. The percentage difference we've seen is 173.1% improvement from her original session. So um, what she's struggled with as well is being able to get a nice tight grip because if you're unable to actively extend the wrist, you can't get that power in, in your grip to do your everyday activities. So we've also, as the wrist has become more stable and she's been able to actively extend and keep that stability going, we've incorporated the um, isotonic hand grip exercise to, uh, to build that up and you can see she's made really good progress with that over the last month as well.